here and welcome to my channel. You love pasta. I know, I know. I don't even have to ask because I already know everybody loves pasta. Okay. Everybody loves pasta, all right? And specifically today, I was thinking of making some spaghetti, but I wanted to make it more nutritious. You know, usually spaghetti is just pasta and sauce, and that's it. And if you're having like spaghetti with meat sauce, and it's just pasta, sauce, and meat, nothing wrong with that. However, sometimes we want to do our bodies good and give us some nutrients to function well in life, right? I have a special place in my heart for veggies, but I'm gonna be honest, even me, I don't always want to eat just straight broccoli and chug it down like that is not my idea of a delicious meal okay so sometimes I want to incorporate some nutrition and some health into my meals without actually having to notice it there so that is exactly what we're doing today we are going to be making plant-based spaghetti I'm talking super plant-based. I don't think you could get more plant-based than this, all right? I'm gonna add so many veggies and you're not even gonna notice it, bet. So without further ado, let's get into this plant-based spaghetti. So here's the thing. Sometimes I like having veggies on the side, but a lot of the time I really enjoy sneaking the veggies in without even noticing it. The flavor is not affected and everything is amazing. Health and deliciousness. It's a perfect combo. So for this plant-based spaghetti and meat sauce, we are going to be needing a few different ingredients, okay? Not many, this is a super easy recipe, promise. Bet on that. Here's what we're going to need. So first ingredient you will need is some mushrooms. Especially if you get these white ones, I find that they're less strong of a flavor than like the darker kind of mushrooms. Mushrooms do add a umami flavor. It adds richness to a meal. So if you chop it up really thinly, you won't even know it's there. Next up, you're gonna need some broccoli. For this specific dish, you're going to chop it up super finely. Like literally, it's like flour. This is going to completely dissolve in the meal and you won't even know it's there. Bell pepper. Dice it up real small and this is going to also soften up in the sauce and it will be barely noticeable whatsoever. A spinach, you're not gonna taste it because it barely tastes like anything in the first place, especially when you put it in with the sauce. But what you have to make sure to do is chop it. If you don't chop it, you're gonna get like strings of like green stuff in your thing and it's definitely gonna be noticeable not gonna be appetizing, so you gotta chop it up finely. Now, if you are into meat, if you eat meat, if you like the taste of meat, go ahead and use some ground beef or ground turkey. I'm going to be using some tofu. You can use tofu if you're a vegan, a vegetarian, or if you just wanna be more plant-based. I'm using extra firm tofu. Next up, we got your tomato sauce. I have made my passionate love for this tomato sauce very apparent in my vegan chili recipe that I will be linking up here and down in the description below. So go check that out. Go ahead and choose whatever tomato sauce you want. The tomato sauce you use is possibly the most important ingredient in this recipe. This is the strongest flavor that you're going to taste. So make sure you get a tomato sauce that you really, really love. Finally, your pasta. First of all, it can be whatever pasta you want. You like a different kind of pasta, go for it. You're already adding so many veggies, so much fiber, so much health and nutrition in this. Eat whatever meat or pasta you want. But if you're trying to go super nutritious, this is where it's at, people. Not just this brand, but this kind of pasta. This is chickpea pasta. Probably should have gotten the spaghetti type, but that's okay. Forget about it, pretend it's spaghetti. Basically what this is, is it's just a bunch of chickpeas made into pasta form. If you cook it right, it will come out just like pasta. And honestly, I think it doesn't taste much different at all. It doesn't matter what age you are. A lot of people are not into veggies. So if you can find a way to sneak veggies into your meal, you can trick yourself into eating veggies and nourish your body without even trying, really. Let's get into this recipe and start making everything. Let's go. So you're gonna need two different pots. One big one for our meat sauce and another little small one over here just to make our pasta I have some water boiling over here with some salt But I'm gonna save this to do at the very end because you know that pasta can get mushy when you cook it too long To start our sauce you're going to grab your tofu or your meat first saute it a little bit If you're doing tofu, I recommend adding a little bit of olive oil or Avocado oil to your pan so that it doesn't stick too much and then after we cook this 
this and saute it down a little bit. We'll add the veggies in and then we'll add the sauce and then we'll finish the pasta and then we're ready to go. Are you ready for this? Here we go. We're going to cut open our tofu and we're going to release the juices, if you will. Probably shouldn't have put it that way because that sounds disgusting. So here's our tofu, you know, looking spongy as ever. You're gonna grab a bowl and then we're going to crumble up the tofu into the bowl. So here is a chunk of tofu and you're going to just kind of do that. And it should look like this. Finish the rest and then go ahead and throw it in your pan. So I just wanted to give you guys a little tip of something that I do all the time when I'm adding extra veggies into already nutritious foods. <laughs> a key point here is to never add too many veggies because there's a limit, right? There's only so many veggies you can add before the food starts tasting like veggies. So what we're trying to do is just kind of disguise them into the sauce so it's not even noticeable at all. So basically one packet of tofu, two to three tablespoons of olive oil, a whole pack of of pasta and a whole jar of the tomato sauce here and I'm only gonna be adding about three quarters to one and a half cups of each of the different veggies you can add more you can add less depending on your preference if you don't like it that much you can put less if you don't mind it that much you can put more super important tip <laughs> okay so now I'm going to chop up spinach here so that it's ready to add into our sauce let's do it Cutting your veggies will not affect the nutritious value, so feel free to snip that thing up. You need to cut it, okay? Once your tofu or your meat has cooked down, just get a little bit of color on it, like a light brown caramel color. Then we're going to add in our veggies. At this step, you can start adding your pasta. Now we're going to add our tomato sauce. Ooh, that was satisfying. By the way, you guys, you do not have to do all of the veggies that I've done. You can literally pick just one. In fact, if you've never added veggies to your spaghetti or you've never added veggies to your meals really in general, I don't recommend that you just throw in a bunch of veggies all at once. You're not gonna be used to eating that many veggies or that change in flavor, which by the way, I feel like it barely changes the flavor, but it does to a certain extent and it's noticeable for somebody who isn't used to eating veggies. So if you're not used to eating veggies, I recommend just choosing one veggie that you don't hate. <laughs> Baby spinach is honestly one of the best. You will see it in the food, but you won't really taste it because it barely tastes like anything. So I recommend that one if you're starting off with veggies in your sauce, if you're just starting off eating veggies and mixing veggies in, and then you can go from there, adding more veggies over time. So start off with just like a handful of spinach and over time slowly increase how many veggies you use because that will help you adjust to eating veggies in your sauces and incorporating them into your meal. Okay, so <laughs> when your sauce and your pasta is ready, go ahead and strain your pasta. I am super excited for this dish, so take a look how it turned out. So here's how it turned out. So nice. Let's go ahead and give it a try and see if it came out as good as I hope it did. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that is freaking delicious. Actually came out way better than I thought it would. This is amazing, you guys. Definitely a must try recipe. You've gotta make this. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you love this video and I hope you love this recipe and make it yourself, it's so good. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and also subscribe down below. I put out a new video every week on Wednesdays, so I'll see you guys again next Wednesday. Bye. So what'd you say? It's good. It's good? Mm-hmm. I'm
feeling a little crazy. <laughs> I don't even know where to start with this. Oh, chill. What's your problem? If, <laughs> nope. So, if, no, what? 